Together and welcome to the stage, Mr. Brent Teixeira. Change the way you look at things, and the things you look at change. It's 2007, and for me, my mission is over. I'd served 24 years in the Canadian military, in the infantry, as a Navy bomb disposal clearance diver, in the Special Forces, serving overseas twice and returning from Afghanistan in March of 04. I had a fantastic Shamwao military career. I got to serve with amazing men and women from all around the world. But it came at a price. It cost me physically, mentally, and it cost me my first marriage. But with that, I maintained my loving relationship with my son and daughter, Carl and Tiffany. It's one that continues today. They're my best friends, and they're always teaching me more about myself and this amazing world around us. So now that the mission was over, I had this huge vacuum of activity that needed to be filled. So with military precision, I became a student and an explorer of life and made life new mission. So I studied all the poets, prophets, professors, painters, physis physicists, politicians, padres, priests, parsons, principals, playwrights, performers, and philanthropists. I found great mentors like Hermes, Plato, Aristotle, Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad, Ronald McDonald, Deepak Chopra, Einstein, Confucius, Emerson, Thoreau, Lao Tzu, Tesla, McKenna, Oprah, and the eminent Wayne Dyer. I saw the commonality of their message. I learned their arts, the arts of visualization, manifestation, and attraction, and applied it to my daily life. I created my dream job. I found my dream girl. And together, we've created our dream life. It's a life we love. And now we get to hang out with fun, like-minded, happy people, like the genie, and create fun events like this. So now, it's last September, Labor Day long weekend, my son and daughter, Carl, Tiffany, and I, and my bride, Kellyanne, were one week away from traveling to Saskatchewan and celebrating my granny's 100th birthday. When life happened, testing my faith in the world. My brother Terry called from Australia at 0300. He'd seen on Facebook that Carl had been in a motorbike accident and it was serious. Kellyanne and I left immediately for Victoria and being students of life, and knowing the power of our thoughts, the only thoughts and images that we held for the 11 and a half hours from St. John's to Victoria was for Carl's 100% recovery because miracles happen all the time. In the ICU, by Carl's side, Dr. Dan tells us that due to the nature of Carl's injuries, he's not gonna make it. What do you mean, Doc? I have faith. Miracles happen all the time. He says, I know. I believe in miracles too, and they do happen all the time, but not this time. We then as a family decided, and we donated Carl's organs. And within 48 hours, six people were given the gift of life. It's a gift that continues today and has touched so many. One week later, we celebrated. We celebrated my granny's 100, and we celebrated the 30 of the most amazing man I know, who's a man of such integrity, compassion, and understanding, and saw the goodness in all. He had this wicked smile, and this crazy sense of adventure. I can only be thankful and grateful for meeting, raising, and knowing this amazing man. He's my hero, he's my teacher, and he's my best friend, and he calls me dad. Who can ask for more? I can't change what happened. What happened, happened. I can only change how I choose to look at it. So, I miss him every day. When I want to reach out and touch base with my buddy 
or it's the end of the week and I want to wish them a happy freaking Friday or I hear that song and I want to share with them, I'm instantly reminded that he's not here and it breaks my heart every time. And it's in this painful moment, rather than choosing to focus on the thoughts and images of pain and loss, I choose acceptance for the way things are. I then focus on the 30 years of life, times, and adventures that we shared, and on the love that continues today. That's what I focus on. That's what I choose to focus on, and that's why Carl's passing can only be a gift. It's a gift of love. It's a gift of life and understanding. And for me, as a student and an explorer of life, and as a father, it's a gift that proves to me, ultimately, my faith in the world. So what does this all mean? It means that you can do everything right in life, and life still happens. I did it right. I did it all right. I am doing it all right, and life still happened. It's not what happens to us that matters. It's how we choose to perceive it, and how we choose to react to it that does. It's that simple. Life is that simple. Look around you, my friends. We are living in amazing times. We are surrounded by beauty and abundance, and you can create your love your happiness, and your peace of mind if you choose to look for it, if you choose to act on it. For when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at do change. Thank you. Dr. Dyer? Oh, come on, this is new to me.